So now that the UI body is set up on the application, so we have the styles folder, we have the lib folder, and we also have the components folder. What I also want to do is set up a global store. So we are going to be setting up Redux with TypeScript. So there are a few dependencies that I need to install for this. The main dependency that I need is React Redux. So if I install this, so yarn add, and the package name is React dash redux like so so whilst that is installing i'm now going to create the reducer folder so this is where all of my reducers will be stored so a new folder within the source folder and this is going to be named reducers so in this application i'm only going to have one reducer and it's going to be named app.ts but first off i need an index.ts so the first thing I want to define is my store. So const store is equal to create store. And within here, I'm going to pass in two arguments. The first one is going to be the reducers. So in my case, I will pass in a combined reducers within there. And within the combined reducers is going to only be the app reducer that we're working with reducers which I will declare. And we are also going to declare something called compose enhancers. So I now have the store declared. I also want to export the default of the store. I need to import create store from React Redux. And then I want to now create the first off the reducers and the compose enhancers. So just above the store, I'm going to name const reducers, which is equal to and then we're using combined reducers, which is a Redux hook. Combine reducers, like so. And in here, we are going to have an object where we can pass in as many reducers as we would like. So in this case, it's going to just be the app, which I now need to create the file for. So alongside index.ts, if I go into the reducers folder and create a new file named app.ts, like so, and enter. So this is where I will create my initial state and my actions that I can dispatch. So const app is equal to, and this takes two arguments. The first argument is the state, and then the second argument is the action. And this is a callback where I'm going to have my action types. So in here, I'm going to have a switch statement. So it will be switch action.type. So within here, I'm going to pass an action type. So a default case in a switch statement is always important. So default and the default state will always be just return the normal state. And we will look at the actions later on. But first of all, I want to declare the initial state of the application. So this will be equal to the initial state or init state. And just above here, I'm going to declare the init state. So when we open the app, we will always have a default initial state on there. So this is going to be an object and I'm just going to paste in the initial state of the application. So the breed will be all, the subbreed will be all, the number will always be one. So these are the drop down selectors that we have. The images results will be zero unless we dispatch the action of image results to one, two or three and so on. And then always error will be false. So now we've declared the app. We also need to export this app. So export default of app. And then going back into my index file, we also want to import this. So import app from dot slash app like so. And then I want to import combine reducers from Redux, which we need to install also. So import combine reducers from the package of Redux. So now if I add that as well, so yarn add Redux and press enter. So now the reducers function is set. We also want to compose enhancers. I'm just going to bring in my code here and explain it. So we want to import compose from Redux. So essentially what a compose enhancer is, so it is used when you want to pass multiple store enhancers to your Redux store. So in this case, we want to have the Redux dev tools extension working on our app. So now I'm getting the following error, which says Redux dev tools does not exist on type window and type of global this. 
So we just need to declare a global interface for the window. So I'm just going to bring in my code here again. So essentially we need to give the Redux dev tools a interface because it doesn't come with Redux as standard because it is separate to Redux. So this will declare the window for the Redux dev tools here. Alternatively, there is a package called Redux dev tools extension, and it has a compose with dev tools property that you can also import instead. And then finally, I just want to bring in the root state, which we will need as well later on. So now if I save, that is the index.ts file complete for TypeScript. If I just hover over this, one final thing that I need to install is the React Redux type. So if I paste this in, Yarn add as a dev dependency the types for React Redux. So now that's the index.ts complete. And now I want to go into my app.ts. So now I want to create my first action type. So in the switch statement, we have cases. So we're going to have a case of the breed. So set breed in this case, so set underscore breed and in here we are going to return now you can use a few ways so the way i'm going to use is object dot assign or you could use a spread operator as well so object dot assign which creates a new object and we are essentially going to pass in the original state and then manipulate the breed so whatever the payload is we're going to change that so for example when we click the drop down and select a breed of african the payload will be passed across and then the breed will change from all to african so object dot assign passing in an empty object and then the state and then we're going to pass in the breed which is going to be manipulated with the action dot payload so essentially what we want to do is create an action for each individual piece of state so we have one for breed we need to make one for subbreed number image results error and then we also want to have a reset which resets everything back to its original state like so so because we are using typescript i now want to create the types for this reducer so if i go into the types folder here and now I want to create a new file within here named reducer.ts and in here I want to declare the type for each action that I create for the app.ts reducer. So first off I want to create some enums so that I'm not relying on these strings as we are doing here. If we was to use this in the real application and we was dispatching an action and we made a type error, then the action may not dispatch correctly. So I'm just going to put this into enums for best practice. So in reducer, I'm going to export enum named action type. So this is going to be the type of action that I have. So this will be an object. The first enum that I want is breed, just put in capitals, breed which is equal to the string of set underscore breed, like so. I'm going to do the same for the rest, so I'll just bring them in. So we have some more actions in here. So we have the subbreed enum, the number enum, image results enum, the error and the reset. So now that we have the action type, we can now create interfaces and types for each action. So the first one, if we go through it together, export the interface of the breed action and this will have a type and a payload so the type is going to be the enum action type so action type which we have already defined here and then if i press full stop we now get access to the action types so we are using the features of typescript so the action type for the breed action is going to be action type dot breed put a comma in there and then the payload for this action type is always going to be a string. So now when I dispatch the action for the breed action, so if I wanted to change the breed on the drop down, we will then dispatch an action to the reducer store. The reducer store will only accept the dispatch if it is a string. Otherwise, an error will occur. Essentially, what we are doing is we are dispatching the action and we are checking that it is a string. And I just need to put this as a semicolon instead of a comma. So now if I save, we now have the breed action set. So now if we do the same for the subbreed, it should be identical. So all I'm going to do is copy this. 
underneath this is going to be named the subbreed and then instead of the action type being breed this time it's going to be the subbreed and the good thing about this is we can just literally delete this full stop and then we have access to all of the action types that we have declared in the enums like so so subread and this is also accepting string i'm just going to bring in all the other actions in here that i've declared and if i save so the subread action is a string the number action is a string also along with the image results action and also the error action the image results action will be a number actually so i'll just change this across and then for the reset we want to set the reducer state so we need to create that now so essentially the reducer state is going to be the initial state when we dispatch the reset action we want to make sure all these properties within this object are set back to its original state so if i just copy this and then create a new interface so export interface of reducer state this is an object that contains all of these properties so the first three are strings it's also a string the error is false so the error is a boolean and then this is a number and now in my error i'm seeing that i am passing the payload of string which is incorrect it should be a boolean so pass that in as a boolean as well and now you can see the payload will always be the reducer state so we will be passing in an object here so now if i go into app.ts and instead of case here i'm now going to type in action type from the types folder slash reducer like so and then if i press full stop we now have access to all the properties within the action type this is going to be the breed like so so now if we go on to the action it says parameter action as a type of any so if we go into our reducer here all of these actions that we have created here or the interfaces that we have created here these will be our actions so essentially we need to export these into a action type so what i'm going to do is underneath i'm going to export a type named action so this will be the type for the actions that we dispatch and this is going to be equal to all of these actions here so this could be breed action or the subbreed action like so so i'm just going to copy the, all of them across and paste that in so as you can see it could be any one of these actions above and now i have exported the type of action so in my app.ts this is going to have the type of action which is imported from the types slash reducer so in the types folder in reducer.ts that we have exported the action here and to add further to this i am also going to pass in the type of reducer state here so reducer state from type reducer so that the arguments within the two parameters of app are always going to be the type of reducer state in here so now i've got everything set up for the types so if i save all i have declared the action type for the action the initial state is here which is getting inferred anyway as the breed as a string and subbreed as a string number as a string and so on we can then also add the type here so this is the reducer state type because we have imported that from the types folder all we need to do now is pass in all of our actions across so i'm just going to bring them in now and paste them in underneath so as you can see we have the actions for the breed the subbreed that takes in the payload the number that takes in the payload the images results that takes in the payload error and then when we have the reset we'll reset the state so we will just pass in the argument of the initial state like so so now if i save we are nearly there with the setup one last thing to do is we need to go into our index.tsx and within everything here we just need to wrap a provider around it from react redux and then the store is going to be equal to the store that we created in the index.ts file from the reducers so if i import that in and wrap that in and then everything on inside so we will wrap from the global style to the theme provider now if i save everything here we should have now have the second part set up which is the redux for state management so if i was to 
dot the server, so yarn start. And then if I was to inspect my page, we now need to check the state of our application. So if you have Redux DevTools installed, then you can check it on here. I don't have them installed. So all I want to do is put in Redux extension. And then in here, we have on the Chrome Web Store Redux DevTools. So if I add this to Chrome and add the extension. So we've added that in. If I close this off now and refresh my page. So if I inspect and then on the far right, click the arrow and click Redux. We now have an initial state on our application. So if I click on this and then click on state, we now have our app connected to the Redux store. So if I open this, we should have our initial state rendering here. So if I go into my reducers in app.ts, this should be the exact same as that, as you can see here. So the next thing to do now is to install Axios from NPM and then fetch the dog data and get that rendering on the front end.